Alrighty guys, uh, what I wanted to do is uh, <clears throat> give you a uh, a tap tap strafe controller setting video because um, my setup is a little bit different <laughs> than some people's um, videos out there. Like actually, a lot of uh, a lot of people's videos um, are different than how my settings are, uh, and I'll sh show you right now. All right. So, <clears throat> well, I guess let me explain the difference, right? So, um, you watch a lot of videos out there, and they walk you through setting it up on uh, in your Steam configuration, right? So, first things first. So, let's go to Steam. Okay, so we're gonna stop. Um, so these controller tab strafe settings are f are a Steam controller figuration only. It's only for PC. I'm not sure if you can do this on a console like Xbox or PlayStation. Sorry about that. Um, you have to be playing through Steam, as far as I know. There might be a way to do this on Origin. But I don't use Origin, so I can't tell you if there is or is not. You'd have to look that up. But these are my um, Steam controller settings. And this is how I do it. Um, it's a little different than a lot of the video tutorials out there. And I get more aggressive strafes. And I feel like they're faster. Um, and it, it's in most cases, it's actually easier to control once you get used to it. Um, and, and, I'll, and I'll explain the difference and I'll show you uh, my settings. So uh, first you're gonna need to set up your control. But if you don't have this already, um, it's very easy to enable it. You need to go here to your settings wheel, go down to properties, go down to controller, and you need to enable Steam input. Um, now this is going to override the default controller settings in the game and enable the uh, input of whichever controller you have. So once you enable this, you're going to um, X out. Um, it might not show that you've selected a controller yet, so just enable it and X out. If you don't see this, go ahead and close your Steam and then reopen it and then it should be there. Okay. Now, once you see it, go ahead and click, and it should bring up your controller that you're using. So I use an Xbox controller, so that's why it shows this. Um, you might have a PlayStation 4 controller, or PlayStation 5 controller, uh, whatever. Um, and my my controller is wired directly into my PC, so that's why it shows up like this. Um, so we want to start. We don't really want to mess with any of this. We want to click on joystick. Uh, move left stick click that's uh, that's our guy right so it's gonna pop up style of input um, we're going to start here right all of this is already gonna be showing us your joystick movement left stick it's all that's all gonna be there we want to click on mode shifting um, and then we want to start here so mode shifting all right we want to select style of input. We want to select directional pad, right? Layout eight way overlap. This right here, we want to drop this bad boy all the way down to right underneath the E. Try to get it, eh, 0 0.077 is perfect. That, work, that works, um, you know. Around there is perfect. You don't you don't need it uh, any lower, any higher. <sighs> what the heck? Okay. Mode shift button. We want joystick click. All right. Click action. Left stick click. Dead zone. You can leave that alone. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to set up our directional pad um, for our uh, for our left joystick clicks at the action, right? So we're gonna click on the first one. Um, okay, now this is the difference between how I set it up 
and then how other people um a lot of a lot of youtubers and a lot of people out there are setting theirs up um i go with long press so you have majority of the content creators and people out there are going to have you set this up with regular press that's great i tried regular press when i first when i first found this um it works it's just not as consistent and the strafes are not a, as a, as aggressive um you know i like the ability to slide jump into a fight and do it and do it and just skate on kids like I, i'm trying to do a 360 strafe move you know into a one clip so um i tried out regular press i felt like it wasn't as consistent sometimes when i was jumping off jump pads i'd miss i'd miss my strafes or it wouldn't it just wouldn't turn hard enough you know what i mean so with long press i get i can you know i can hit complete 180 strafes off of jump pads no problem i can do i can do 180 strafes off of gravity cannons no problem um so i just i felt the difference um you know i played with the regular press for probably two weeks and then i found uh, a youtuber i can't remember his name but he was using this method and just his strafes were so aggressive like he was doing wall jumps with strafes over the wall and it was I mean, he explained why you know long press um so how i have it set up is my activation type is long press right it's for my w key bind so w key is forward right so you're getting an additional forward movement with this left stick click which enables the ability to straight um, we want to take this right here the long press time and we want to drop that all the way down to zero so that way when you do click you're not having to hold for a certain amount of time it act it act, um, the activator acts instantly we want to slide over here we can leave this alone we can leave this alone this alone we want hold to repeat turbo on we want that on and then we want to take this repeat rate and we want to move it all the way to the end all the way to the end all right we're gonna go back then we're gonna do d same thing long press d binding long press time all the way down skip 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 hold to repeat on repeat rate all the way over all right we want to repeat that as fast as possible back same thing with this one a long press a binding long press time all the way down hold to repeat turbo on repeat rate all the way up back this one right here is actually S. It's your uh, it's your back key. So like if you're if you're moving around with your keyboard, you have know, W forward S back. So S is your binding. Long press time all the way down. Repeat rate all the way up. Uh, holds repeat turbo on. Um, now I have an additional activator for this one. This is kind of important, and a lot of videos out there don't explain this, and they kind of leave you hanging. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through this. So. Once you set, once you originally set up your S, um, once you originally set up your long press activator for your S, what you're going to do is click back on it, go back into it, and click Add Activator. And what you're going to add is you're going to add a regular press activator, so that way you can toggle your zoom with your left with your left joystick click. This was huge in the beginning. I that's one thing that I hated about how some of these videos uh, had me set up my tap strafing on my controller. They didn't explain that, and I lost the ability to zoom in with my click. And I was trying everything, like in-game settings and all that, and nothing was working. Um, and uh, I came across this video, and this guy was like, "Yeah, just add an additional activator, and then." And, this will allow you to get your zoom back so for you add the activator what your activation type you're just going to go regular press on this and then your binding you just go ahead and click on your left stick click right you don't need to change anything else turbo no repeat rate no you don't need any of that this is just going to give you the ability to click on it when you're aiming down sight so you could zoom in on scope huge and important for Kraber shots whatever or anything else if you like to do that so we're gonna go back don't need to change none of this 
that's perfect we'll go back and we're going to click done now i would recommend you save it you can export your configuration and rename it or whatever mine is just gamepad by off the tryhard done all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the game and i am going to show you what i mean recommend you try the regular press try it try the regular press out for maybe you know a few minutes or whatever a couple hours or whatever to try and get the feel of the regular press um, as your activators for this your configuration and then switch it to long press so you can instant you'll feel you'll instantly feel the difference from regular press to, uh, from, from regular press to long press um, as far as like how aggressive your strafes can be uh, let's go to firing range oh real quick real quick, real quick. so you need two settings enabled um, for tap strafing on controller um, the most important one is you need auto sprint turned on this needs to be enabled or else um, clicking into your left joystick will act it, you won't be able to sprint basically if you don't because your left when you click into your left stick you're gonna see that like it I'll, I'll show you right now but this needs to be enabled for any of this to work second thing is on your controller settings over here um, you need to run crouch button on hold um, so that means you need to hold whenever you're crouching or you need to hold down on your button whenever you're sliding. Now, if you slide, if you go into a slide and just tap like you normally do with toggle, it's going, it's not going to slide correctly. You got to learn, you kind of got to learn how to hold it. But well, by doing this, you can get better strafes, you can go faster crouching, um, more aggressive strafing. Um, with the crouch button on hold uh, it's up to you it'll work for both but I learned you know I learned how to do it this way and like the straights are like pretty nuts um, and I also like you know if I'm in a if I'm in a 1v1 engagement I notice that my my crouching is a lot faster when I'm shooting when I'm hip firing at people if I'm crouch hip firing it's just it's like it's crazy how fast it is <laughs> there I go back so those are the two settings that you need to have enabled, especially like auto sprint is a, is a must, um, but it's up to you if you want to toggle or a hold for crouch. I mean, how many players do I have to wait in queue for for the firing range? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let me. All right. It's up to you. Like, I have my, I think, like, my settings are on 5-5. Five, five. Um, as far as, like, my sensitivity, controller sensitivity is. All right, so like, so let's just do like a normal like 180, like 180 strafe right there, jump strafe right there, right, right there. Like, you can almost pull a full 360, like, and that's because it's on long press. Because I'm literally holding down on it, and it just keeps turning. Like in the direction that you're holding down, it just keeps going. Like it. it it's like if you do regular press it does it but like if you're holding it down it like stops the action like it activates it but it stops the action but with long press it, it's almost like it keeps pushing the action through the entire press like it's crazy i don't know i don't know how to explain it i guess that's the best way i can explain it, but um another one is uh let's do like a like a 360 like slide jump 360 Kind of let's, uh, like what, what are we doing? What are we doing? 
So say we're say we're gonna say we're gonna, we're gonna fight, right? So I want to do like a 360. Like I want to slide into this guy right here, <clears throat> into the fight, right? I just want to completely put this kid on. You know what I mean? Like just completely like. Don't mind the aim. But like we're gonna sl slide. And we should stab. But that, like, you can get to like the you just jump and get like the 360, the 360 straight like. You like, you see what I'm saying? And it's just like it's not it's just not as a, a as a, as aggressive on the regular press, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go slide 80. All right, so we're gonna do like a full 180 tap strafe off this jump pad. Ooh, that's right, and it does take some, I mean, it does take some practice, but I'm telling you, like, hands down, the long press method, it's easier to hit a strafe like that off these settings versus the regular press settings. You know what I mean? Um, and you'll like if you test it out yourself, you'll see. But I just love these settings, these, the long press settings. Like the strafes are nuts. Strafes are nuts. Um, you can do like jump. Like you could do like. It's hard to see it, but you can do like a, a where you jump on the rope. You jump off, you hit your your strafe activator, and then like you can actually like kind of. Let me see if I can do it. It's kind of hard. Yeah, I'm not that good with it. <clears throat> but you could strafe off of a jump, off of a zip rope or whatever. Um, same thing with wall jumps. Um, with this, with these type of settings, it doesn't mess up your wall jumps, just like you would do it normal. Slide, jump, jump. Um, with this though, you can do, like, for example, you can slide in, jump, jump, and then if you hit your, your strafe activator, for example, like if you're trying to outrun somebody, or get away from somebody, or if you're just trying to, to be stylish and style fucking on people or whatever, you can wall jump, and then strafe like over I don't know if you saw the like the little jolt that I gave myself but you could like wall jump right and then like strafe over the wall or whatever just like if you're trying to get away from somebody or you could jump into a wall jump strafe out this way you get an it's almost like an extra boost so like if they're like chasing you and shooting at you like, Let's go they're like here. chasing you and shooting you like right here like ah. You hit the wall jump, and then you tap strafe off the wall. You're gonna end up over here behind them. So let me see if I can actually like. Let me see if I can actually do that. Oh, I went the other. I went the wrong way. Oh, I hit it too soon. I'm not the best. With, I'm not the best with wall jumps, honestly. Like I don't do it a lot in game. I don't try to style on kids, but I want to show you guys. Oh, I missed the I missed the uh, the straight but the, the left stick click. What would be a better example? Let me see if I could just get over the wall. Hold on. I'm gonna try to like straight over the wall. I might just have to cut this shit out. No, that didn't work. Uh, that kind of worked. I mean, you get the idea. I mean, I'm sure, you're, and if you're watching this video, I'm sure you watch like 100 fucking TikTok videos of guys fucking just like doing styling shit. Be ready.
But yeah, um, with these settings, with the long press settings, um, you uh, you get more aggressive strafes. It's easier to pull 180 strafes off of uh, jump pads, gravity cannons. Um, if you set up the additional activator, you don't have to sacrifice your uh, your your, to your zoom toggle like this. Um, you make sure that when you set up that additional activator, that this is enabled so you don't lose that. Uh, horrible aim. 360 guy. 360 guy. Let's hit him with that 360 real quick. Whoa! Whoa! I'm out of light ammo. You know what I mean, but <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and these settings helped you as they have helped me. And uh, that's it. All right, peace.